On South Miami Beach, at the corner of 3rd Street and Washington Avenue, you'll find Florida Jewish history dating back to the 18th century. This former Orthodox synagogue is now the Jewish Museum of Florida. Walk through these doors and you step into the lives of the many Jews who first settled Florida and helped shape the state we live in today. The synagogue was designed by famed Art Deco architect Henry Hohauser. Built in 1936, it was home to Congregation Beth Jacob for 50 years, the very first Jewish congregation on South Beach. On the National Register of Historic Places, the building has 80 stained glass windows, a stunning copper dome, a marble bima for reading the Torah, and lots of gorgeous Art Deco touches. But the main event here is history and preserving Jewish continuity. The heart of the museum is a permanent exhibit called Mosaic, Jewish life in Florida, and it's the reason the museum is here today. Initiated in the 1980s, the collection and award-winning exhibit documents Jewish life in Florida from 1763 to the present. Mosaic traveled throughout the state and the U.S. and generated so much interest that organizers realized it needed a permanent home. That's how this old synagogue was restored and transformed into the Jewish Museum of Florida. You can spend hours looking at the huge collection of rare photographs and artifacts from Florida's pioneering Jewish families. Like a Passover plate used for Seder dinners in North Florida in 1865. Here's an original. A Purim party ensemble. The dress, hat, gloves, and stockings are made of seashells collected on Jacksonville Beach in 1916. Little bits and pieces of the past that show a history rich in tradition. With a Jewish visitor, we have one very focused goal, and that is to create Jewish memories so we can help ensure Jewish continuity. For non-Jews, it has that generic feeling of family. Folks here at the museum like to keep things new and interesting with temporary exhibits that change several times a year. Jews of Broward County is a unique collection of photos and artifacts from the families who settled the Fort Lauderdale area. Walk through the museum and you can almost hear the voices of the old Beth Jacob congregation while you study the timeline of state, national, and world Jewish history. Learn about the proud achievements of the Jewish community, as well as the dark days when anti-Semitism was a fact of life. Even on Miami Beach, Jews weren't allowed to live north of 5th Street until 1921. And believe it or not, Mount Sinai Hospital was built because Jewish doctors returning from World War II weren't allowed privileges in the city's hospitals. Discover that and more at the Collections and Research Center, a vast storehouse of photos, documents, artifacts, and oral histories. Each piece communicates the powerful stories of Florida Jews, from pioneer families to modern-day immigrants from Latin America and other parts of the world. Tours are always available, as well as various films on the Jewish experience. You can visit the Jewish Museum of Florida Tuesday through Sunday from 10 to 5. The museum is closed on all Jewish holidays.